Okay, this is the 2000, 2011 26T Bud. It's basically a triple bunk U shaped dinette. Uh, I want to give you a walk around, kind of give you an idea of what it all entails. This is the throughway storage that's underneath the Queen Island bed up top. So you can tell it goes all the way across. Nice easy access. That's actually the bottom of your queen bed. Stabilizer jacks all the way around. That's four. All at each corner. Here's your slide out. It's kind of windy today. This is a storage underneath the U-shaped dinette. Dump station right here. 30 amp service cord right here that you can plug in. Satellite wired and cable. Satellite is a different feed cable than the uh, standard cable you may run for a regular uh, feed from a, like say HBO, that kind of thing coming from a park. Uh, spare tire mount on the back. That does mount down, tilt down. This is your city water hookup for your garden hose. And over here is your rear storage. This is actually the bottom bunk of the triple bunk inside. That actually is an access. Uh, you may want to use this for just storage. You can notice it's got it's all finished off. And then right up top is your uh, awning here, and then the marine grade style speakers. Here's your refrigerator panel access. Your fresh water fill. 110 plug for awning lights, etc., or anything you want to be plug. Uh, and this is the six gallon hot water heater. This is the furnace exhaust. You want to be careful around this area. It does tend to get hot. This is the stowaway entrance handle that comes in and out. It does lock during travel. You'll lift it and then slide it out and locks into place. Amber light lines on the outside for at night. Triple step entry right here. Uh, this is actually a really cool step. It's uh, much easier to put in than say anything else we've seen. It's a, one of the easiest. Uh, and your doorway coming in, all aluminum radius door. Now this is nice because if you have the awning out, the round corners are not going to cut the awning. And that's, that's kind of important to have. Uh, it's a good feature. Coming in, got the bow floor. It's uh, basically an anti-skid linoleum, if you will. It's got a uh, polyurethane base. Basically it's flexible. It will allow for stretching in cold, water, cold weather to reduce uh, the cold weather cracks that we've experienced in the past with linoleum. This is the tilt around uh, entertainment center when the, both the bedroom drawers are open. This will allow for a rotation. It'll, it'll swi swivel right around. You'll have a TV access. And this is the AM FM CD stereo. It also plays uh, MP3s. It's got the uh, uh, iPod hookup, if you will. You can plug it right in, auxiliary. This is the jackknife sofa here with a little storage drawer that comes out. Nice. You know, if you want to stow away uh, an extra sleeping blanket or pillow. Overhead storage there. The huge U-shaped dinette. This is one of the biggest selling features on this floor plan because of its huge size. It also does make into a bed, which is really nice because this is the largest bed you'll find in the RV industry as far as a dinette that makes into a bed. So it's a really nice feature. Moving right along, there's your AC and heat. Uh, control. Uh, this is all digital. And then here's your triple bunks all right there, one, two, and three. And again, that bottom one does go right outside. And that will allow for your storage, uh, you know, whatever. Storage here, uh, refrigerator, it's a double door, Dometic. Uh, microwave here with the uh, carousel inside. Okay. And then uh, your stove, 15 inch oven. 60-40 sink with the removable spout head. This will come right out. And there's your mixing valve right there. So no dual valve handle. Uh, finished off cold air intake for your furnace. That's kind of a nice feature to have. It it's definitely looks a lot better. Then again, we'll go to the back of the bathroom. which is kind of cool. It's right by the bunks, right where the kids are. Uh, again, uh, there's your sink. A little stowage area. There's your toilet paper roll. Uh, flush for the toilet right here. All nice and neat. And then the big tub. Nice deep tub on this too. And it's all finished off all the way around. And then the skylight up top. This will allow for uh, you taller fellows to be able to stand up in there. And they also did the radius shower, which is really cool. This actually gives you a little more elbow room into the coach. 
your GFI mark that's a ground fault switch right there it does splash water and this of course is your medicine cabinet I just opened up it's a mirror on front a little uh, fan in the vent there I don't know if you can see that or not it's actually a little fan right there so this is the ducted air conditioning up in the roof it's a nice quiet air versus the one that just sits there it's actually ducted through the roof all the way across with three inch ducts uh, paid throughout the coach. It does have the quick cool feature as well. This will travel air, uh, force the air centrally into the coach in the living area. Once it gets cool you can go ahead and flip it back and then you can actually uh, be a little more comfortable. It's all you know, like a triple zone heating and air if you will because of the zone the ducts are in each um, section of the coach. They did put a Serta mattress in here too. This is unlike any at this price point with a Serta mattress. Most of these come with either a foam mattress or some kind of uh, inner spring that's just not the most comfortable. So this is kind of a cool feature to have. Uh, it does come with a comforter and the pillows. Um, underneath here is uh, two gas strut storages. Um, and this will allow for that access. Uh, you'll actually be able to stow some... Um, compartment type storage containers that you can you know keep your personal hygiene and things like that uh, nice and neat and organized and out of the way um, so that works out really well and there's a pantry or excuse me uh, wardrobe storage right there and then you got your overhead storage there and then another wardrobe storage over there for mom and dad so they'll have their own compartments um, shut that and again there is two pocket doors on either side here and over here that close that off um, so you'll have your own privacy that'll be that door there and then you could shut that right off and then of course over here there are travel snaps that you have to unsecure it's cold and they don't want to move so I'm going to go ahead and close that off now what you're seeing now is that right there is your pocket doors that go all the way across and then right here is the reversible TV entertainment center. This will flip around just by, by removing this pin here and get it out. It's not being very friendly. There must be another lock there. But again, that will turn all the way around and allow for TV access into the living area and into the bedroom. So kind of cool. And there's surround speakers up top. Um, so that is pretty much the 26 T Bud. Uh, kind of give you an idea of what it looks like inside. And they give you a little test taste, as they say. Here, I'll open up the fridge too for you. Kind of give you an idea what that looks like. A lot of storage. And then this is the kids' wardrobe right here. You can just see the where you can hang the clothes up. And then a couple wooden drawers here. These are all steel drawer guides. That's something they did different this year with the Salem. Uh, traditionally, this has just been a, a, a steel glide. But this is actually a triple ball bearing glide system that's much more fluid when you open and close. And then there's that little, little bit of a travel lock at the beginning of it. So a lot of nice improvements on the Salem for 2011. Hope you enjoy it. Uh, and take care.